Welcome back, and here's our update for the first uh, part of the week. So this is Zach, uh, just cleaning off the rough edges here on that mould uh, that got laid up last week, and this one's for um, a little kind of like a bracket that protects the front of the intake and mounts above the uh, rear um, bulkhead, aft bulkhead. So you'll see that later on. Um, just kind of looks like a box, really. Next up we have Mark uh, basically doing the same thing, but he's trimming off the edges, the rough edges, on the roof mold there. That one's all completed now on the casters. And with that uh, extra framing in place, it's nice and solid now. It doesn't have any flex in it, which is what we were going for. So we're happy with how that one has turned out. And then here is the plug for the main spa and Jeff had put the um, the rubber um, profile on there so that's ready uh, to lay up and we actually did that or started laying that up today so you'll see that shortly and then uh, Keith has been working on putting the profile on this other one and this is actually the lower tray for the air intake so the other one that you saw before kind of sits into this, or that one, yeah, the other one you saw sits into that one. Uh, one problem we did have with this uh, roof thing was we had a couple little air bubbles in the um, profile channel. So we've had to sand those down and just fill them and smooth that out again. So a bit of a hassle, but not a real big deal. And the guys have been um, working on the next level of sanding on these door frames. So I believe we're on 220 now. And this morning the guys started laying up the first part of the main spa mold and you see we've got these um, little boards that I cut out uh, last week in there because this is a three piece mold uh, because of the negative draft that we have on the ends and it wouldn't pop out if we just laid it all in one piece. So and here you can see putting the black um, top coat on and again two layers of that or two coats of that go on and then uh, we you know, go ahead with the fiberglass and that sort of stuff. So I didn't have the um, GoPro on this time. So no no uh, time-lapse video on that. And in the meantime, I was actually milling the uh, fixture to hold the front window in place um, under vacuum so we can use the machine to trim it. So this is just uh, doing the surface milling on the top there. And this basically is just something that the window will just fit over. In the meantime, uh, Jeff started laying up the um, part for that um, box that goes around the front of the air intake. So that's there. Just he's just put some resin down there and just getting ready to lay it up. And about an hour later, it was all done. And I didn't get any video of that because I was busy doing some other stuff. And again, I didn't have the GoPro out this time, unfortunately. But you've seen quite a few of those happen, so you kind of know the process. And here is the uh, that window front window mold fixture out of the mill channel cut in there. It's ready uh, to have the glass put on there, and then it'll get putty sprayed on there, and then back on the machine uh, to get final milling. And some good timing. Our windows arrived today, so nice big crate weighing quite a bit. I think the crate weighed most of it. The windows aren't that heavy really, um, so they're all packed in there. Uh, front and rear, uh, left and right side windows, and the front windshield. So we just pulled them out to sort of test fit how they're going to fit on our fixture. So this is the front uh, left window just sitting on the fixture, and that's basically how it'll sit uh, when it goes under the machine, and then we uh, use the machine to trim it to the actual size because it's about two or three inches over size all the way around and not exactly the right shape, obviously. But it does have the right curvature, and that's all we need. And here is the windshield, same type of thing, sitting on that uh, foam plug that we've just finished milling, just to see how it sits down there and it's sitting uh, nicely. Um, it'll be sitting even better once uh, we put the actual putty on there and bring the, um, the, that uh, fixture up to the full size. So uh, we'll be glassing that one, um, that fixture in the next day or so, and then getting some putty on there and getting it on the machine and then uh, hooking up our little vacuum channel there and then we'll be able to trim our windows. 
And finally, by the end of day today, we had um, laid down the um, first layer of fiberglass and the two lightweight layers of carbon fiber for the first um, pass on the main spar mold. So tomorrow I'll be laying the heavy on that and then probably the following day uh, start working on the other ends and get that one finished off. So that's your update for the first half of this week. Thanks again for watching.